Hey, what's up everyone? Have another ROM review for you today. We're going to be looking at Cataclysm 4.4.2, specifically on the Google Nexus 5, although it is available on other devices. I'll provide a link in the video description below to XDA developers. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you'll probably be able to find it in the thread over at XDA. A couple nice things about this ROM is uh, your G apps as well as super user are already built into the zip that you'll download. So you only need to flash just the one zip file, which is nice and convenient. The ROM focuses more on system customization versus visual customization. So don't expect anything to be built into this ROM that you probably can find in a Google Play Store. So let's see why Cataclysm 4.4.2 is one of the more popular ROMs available today. All right, so let's jump into the ROM review of Cataclysm 4.4.2. You can head on over to XDA developers to download the zip. It's only going to be one zip, and that one zip is going to include your G apps as well as super user. You also can get it through GUIM. If you're unfamiliar with GUIM, there's an application in the uh, Google Play Store, and you can get into GUIM, head on up to browse compatible ROMs, take a look at Atlantis, and you're going to see Hammerhead, which is the Google Nexus 5, and you can download it that way and flash it in the recovery. Now, I read some things before about Cataclysm having difficulty flashing in TWRP, and uh, a lot of people were switching to uh, Clockwork Mod to flash Cataclysm. I did use TWRP, and I didn't have any issues. I used the latest version for my device, which is 2.6.3.4, and it flashed as normal. And like I said, it includes your G apps as well as super user. So Cataclysm focuses more on um, system-specific customization versus visual. So uh, if you jump into settings, and of course the settings looks like uh, as you should see it and be familiar with. Uh, before I jump into Cataclysm settings, I, I know a lot of people ask. I am using Art, and it is running just fine on Art. If you head on up to Cataclysm settings, you'll find everything that you can do specific to this ROM. Of course, you can change and manipulate your quick toggles. You can rearrange those, change all the size about it. One nice thing I really like is on the display brightness, it actually shows the percentage, which I absolutely love. And then you have uh, your lock screen options, and you have something called in-call in -call blocker, which you can view or change incoming call rules, which is pretty cool. You can uh, block income, all incoming calls, restricted calls, unknown calls, contacts, and you can really set this up to your preference. Smart radio is one of the more popular features and a lot of things, a lot of the reasons why people love this ROM so much. And, and you can see what the description is right there. This will keep your radio in low power mode when mobile modem is unused. This applies, for example, when mobile data is off or you are connected to the Wi-Fi. So this really helps with battery life. And a lot of people love this feature of smart radio. I really didn't mess with it too much. Um, but this is one of the, the key things about Cataclysm that people absolutely love. Soft fade mode is that you can see at the bottom of my screen, the back button, home button, and the recents button. If you enable this, that's just going to set up a delay on when those will actually disappear. Now, the bar will still be there, but the keys themselves has disappeared in order to just bring it back and just just uh, touch the notification bar, excuse me, touch the navigation bar, and now it'll come back. Immersive mode is one of the cool things a lot of ROMs have built in. If you turn on immersive mode, it gets rid of the notification bar as well as the navigation bar, and this is really great for when you're uh, when you're playing games on your device. It completely gets rid of the the blacked out notification and navigation bar. Um, battery style, uh, everyone should be familiar with that. Just change the the look and feel of your battery um, icon. Uh, you can change you can change the keyboard a lot more in this if you're using the AOS the AOSP keyboard. You can really change a lot of the things and tailor it more to your needs, which is really cool. Uh, screen recorder is built into here, but uh, I did not have volume with it, but I did have uh, screen screen recording options. Like I said, I just did not have volume with it. You can resize your navigation bar, and one of the uh, other things that you can do is center your clock. See, I'm, uh, my, my time right now, 4.12 p.m. is in the center. App Ops is one of the greatest things. I love when App Ops is, is built into to ROMs. 
and this allows you to change the permissions for each and every one of your um, applications. This is great for applications like Facebook that ask entirely too many permissions that it absolutely does not need. So if you come in an app ops, you can change what you want it to have access and permission to. Just be very careful with app ops because if you if you turn off the wrong thing, it can you know mess up on how that application is running. So just kind of be careful with app ops. Another thing that you'll see is miscellaneous. This has a couple of various uh, things in here. I'm not going to go through the whole laundry list in here, but you can take a look at it for yourself. Um, I'll kind of go kind of slow so you can read it if you want. Um, but this is just more system-based customization uh, built into the ROM. And that's what this focus is more on. Uh, one of the other very cool things about uh, Cataclysm is you can actually set a backup and you can restore that backup. So if you make a whole bunch of changes and get the device set up exactly the way you want, and for some reason you need to do a factory reset or something and reflash the ROM, you can restore those backup settings and that way everything is right back the way you had it before. And that is very cool. And I really like how that's built in. About Cataclysm, you're gonna find out exactly what it says about Cataclysm. You're gonna find out the developer is Atlantis. You can contact the developer. You can get a direct link to the official thread on XDA developers, and you can uh, donate via PayPal. And I highly encourage that. Uh, these guys do not get paid for this. They do this in their spare time as a hobby. Uh, not only Atlantis, but all the guys over at XDA developers. And if you have a couple extra bucks to throw their way to keep the whole project and keep uh, the rooting and roaming going, uh, I encourage you definitely to do that. So that's pretty much everything uh, specific to Cataclysm. Everything else is pretty much set up exactly the same as you would expect. On the Nexus 5, of course, you have uh, OK Google Works and you have uh, um, you know, gel built in. Uh, everything is stable. Uh, I haven't had any issues or any uh, hiccups based, uh, based um, uh, while I was using this ROM. So... If you're looking for a great uh, daily driver, go ahead and take a look at Cataclysm 4.4.2 and uh, let us know what you think.